Well, hi everyone, Corey Barker here of the National Association of Photoshop Professionals here to talk to you a little bit about cropping inside Photoshop. Now, there are numerous reasons we crop images, whether it's actually um, formatting it for a specific size print or even just to get rid of superfluous material inside of your images. Everybody's got a different reason for it and there are different tools in Photoshop to help you do that. Now, if I go and select the crop tool here inside Photoshop, what you really want to take advantage of, when especially when you're setting up prints that are going to be a specific size, is to use the presets or even generate your own presets inside of the crop tool. So with the crop tool selected, you can go up here in the options bar and there's a number of different things going on here. You actually have um, different types of overlays you can actually put on the crop menu. If I click on the um, window, you'll notice that the rule of thirds has popped up, helping me to better uh, cre create a better composition on my images. But I also have things like a grid, diagonal, triangle, golden ratio, things like that. These just help you uh, when you're cropping your image to help achieve a better composition, a more pleasing uh, composition. But actually cropping specific sizes, when you go into this little menu here, the very first item in the options bar, you can choose unconstrained or original ratio. And basically unconstrained simply means that you can just freeform the crop window, whatever size you like it to be, no matter what, and go ahead and make the crop based on that. You can also do original ratio, which actually maintains the aspect ratio of the original document. So no matter what I do, scale it up and down, it's gonna maintain the original aspect ratio, even if I want to crop it in a little bit. And that's what original ratio is. Now below that, we've got a number of different preset aspect ratios here that we can choose from. So like, for instance, if I wanted to create a widescreen image, 16 by nine format, I could go ahead and do that and scale it down. Notice it maintains that proportion. I'm not holding down any keys or modifiers uh, to keep the proportion here. It's going to maintain that as long as that preset is set. And once you have it, you simply press enter and it will crop the image. Now you'll notice up here in the options bar, I've got delete cropped pixels checked on. This allows me to delete any information that I crop away. It's point of cropping is that to get rid of information you do not want. But you can also, let's go ahead and undo that. So again, you've got your different preset aspect ratios. These do nothing to the resolution of the file. If you apply these different aspect ratios, they will simply maintain the aspect ratio and nothing else, whether it's your dimensions or resolution will maintain the same. You obviously are cropping down the dimensions, but the resolution of the document will remain unaffected. In order to create a preset that will give you a very specific size and resolution, you can actually go down here to the very bottom, uh, second to the last where it says size and resolution and go in here and actually input a specific size. Let's say for instance, I wanted to do a 10 inch wide by, or no, let's do rather a 12 inch by nine inch at 300 pixels per inch. So I can actually go ahead and ch check this on to save as a crop preset in the event I want to use this again. So click okay, you can actually give it a name if you'd like, or just go ahead and use the information in there. I'll go ahead and click okay. Now before I actually crop the image, let's actually look at the original dimensions of this file. If I go under image to image size, you can see that this is, a 54 by 36 inch at 72 pixels per, per inch. So what I want to create actually is the, like uh, the crop setting I just made, which is that 12 by nine. Notice the preset, there it is. 12 inches wide by nine inches at 300 pixels per inch. So we'll just take this and crop it in and bring it right about there and go ahead and press enter. Now, if I go into my image size, you can see that it is generated that 12 by nine at 300 pixels per inch. So if you are definitely working with specific size images you're going to be outputting, whether they are regular picture size or a very custom size, like for instance, I did a series of 10 inch squares uh, on, on a wall that I had done and I had actually created this 10 by 10 preset and no matter where I put this, it's set to a 10 by 10 at 150 pixels per inch. So if I put this in here and I know position that, that's where I want the uh, image to be cropped. I'll do that, and if I go under image to image size, you can see it is specifically 10 by 10 at 150 pixels per inch. So definitely wanna take advantage of these presets. Now again, remember, you have these preset constraints, these aspect ratios up here, and then you have these presets that you can generate and save 
depending on if you're using uh, very specific sizes over and over again, it will be a good idea to make a preset and be able to uh, get to that anytime you want. Not to, not to mention being able to go over here and use these overlays such as the rule of thirds, golden ratio, and other things like that to, be, to uh, help your um, composition be that much more pleasing.